Hello friends, this is Teacher JB. Uh, today we are studying 10 TOEFL words based on the theme Crimes at Sea. Crimes at Sea. The first word we are going to study is kidnapping. Kidnapping. The word for kidnapping is abduction. Abduction. Abduction is a noun. It has three syllables. A, B, D, U, C, T, I, O, N. It's on the second syllable. Abduction. Abduction means kidnapping. Pirates got many crew members by abduction, snatching unlucky citizens from seaport towns. Abduction. The next one, two fours to put pressure on someone to do something. To force, to put pressure on someone to do something, the word is coerce. Coerce. Coerce is a verb. It has two syllables, C-O-E-R-C-E, -E. X on the second syllable, coerce. Coerce means to force, to put pressure on someone to do something. A criminal's confession is not usable in court if the police coerce him or her into giving it. The next word is to prevent someone for a relatively short time from going on their way. To prevent someone for a relatively short time from going on their way is detain. Detain. Detain is a verb. It has two syllables. D-E-T-A-I-N, X on the second syllable, detain. Detain means to prevent someone for a relatively short time from going on their way. The police detained at least 20 men for questioning, but charged none of them with a crime. Detain. The next one in a style that is not normal and is offensive to many. In a style that is not normal and is offensive to many, the word is deviant. Deviant. Deviant is an adjective. It has three syllables. D-E-V-I-A-N-T. X on the first syllable. D. Deviant. Deviant means in a style that is not normal and is offensive to many. The artist based his reputation on creating deviant works of art that disgusted most of the public. So when you use deviant, deviant always implies a bad opinion of someone or something. Just remember this. Deviant always implies a bad opinion of someone or something. Deviant. The next word, to twist or misrepresent to make something seem different from what it really is. To twist or misrepresent to make something seem different from what it really is. The word is distort. Distort. Distort is a verb. It has two syllables. D-I-S-T-O-R-T. Actually, the second syllable. Distort. Distort means to twist or misrepresent, to make something seem different from what it really is. If you hold a pencil in a glass of water, the water distorts the appearance of the pencil. Distort. The next one, on purpose, not by accident. On purpose, not by accident, the word is intentionally. Intentionally. Intentionally is an adverb and it has five syllables. I N T E N T I O N A L L Y. X on the second syllable, 10. Intentionally. It means on purpose, not by accident. Danny intentionally lost his last golf ball because he was tired of playing. Intentionally. The next word, 
stealing a ship or taking the ship's cargo, or the unlawful copying of books, cities, etc. Stealing a ship or taking the ship's cargo, the unlawful copying of books, cities, etc. The word is piracy. Piracy. Piracy is a noun and it has three syllables P I R A C Y as in the first double. Pir piracy. Piracy means stealing a ship or taking the ship's cargo, the unlawful copying of books, cities, etc. Modern day piracy occurs mostly near groups of small, uninhabited islands where pirates can hide. Piracy. The next one, a difficult situation, one that is hard to get out of. A difficult situation, one that is hard to get out of. The word is predicament. Predicament. Predicament is a noun. It has a four syllables. P R E D I C A M E N T. As in the second syllable, predicament. Predicament means a difficult situation, one that is hard to get out of. College basketball stars face the predicament of wanting to graduate but being tempted by high professional salaries. Predicament To illegally bring things into a country To illegally bring things into a country, the word is smuggle. Smuggle, smuggle is a verb. It has two syllables. S M U G G L E X in the first syllable smuggle. Smuggle means to illegally bring things into a country. The pirate Bandur smuggled guns to British and Indian fighters in North America. Smuggle. The last one, exceptional badness as demonstrated by many serious evil deeds. Exceptional badness, as demonstrated by many serious evil deeds. The word is villainy. Villainy. Villainy is a noun. It has three uh, syllables. V-I-L-L-A-I-N-Y. X in the first syllable. Bill. Villainy. Villainy means exceptional badness, as demonstrated by many serious evil deeds. Fred was not a natural criminal, but he learned all kinds of villainy while being jailed for a minor crime. Villainy. Now find a word or phrase that is closest in meaning to the opposite of each word in the left hand column. Write the letter in the blank. Detain. Detain is to let somebody or something stay. So the answer is C. Let go. Distort. Distort is twist. So twist, you cannot see well, but clarify is the opposite. Clarify. Villainy. Villainy is a bad thing. Bad action. So the opposite is going to be E, good deeds. Intentionally. Intentionally is on purpose. So is it by accident? Is the uh, opposite B. Finally, deviant. Deviant is something very bad. And then the answer is going to be D, normal. Here's the word from the list that is closest in meaning to the underlined part of each sentence. Abducted, coerced, piracy, predicament, smuggled. The police forces difficult situation involved a bank robber who threatened to shoot a bank employee if any police approached. So it's a hard problem, difficult situation, 
So the answer is going to be predicament, P-R-E-D-I-C-A-M-E-N-T. And next one, despite laws restricting animal imports, dozens of monkeys and lemurs and other wild animals are brought illegally into the United States. It's going to be smuggled. Smuggled, S-M-U-G-G-L-E-D. Number three, the enemy captured and took away the general's son. So it's going to be abduction. So uh, abducted. So number three is going to be abducted. D-U-C-T-E-D. Number four, two men were convinced, uh, convicted of spill, uh, stealing a boat near the Ryu Islands. So it's going to be piracy. So piracy is stealing. So number four is going to be piracy. And the last one, by threatening to set fire to their ship, the governor of Bermuda pressured the pirate crew to give themselves up. Okay, so it's going to be coerced. C-O-E-R-C-E-D. Okay, first one, predicament, smuggled, abducted, piracy, coerced. Read the passage to review the vocabulary you have learned, and then answer the questions that follow. The Spanish explorer Pizarro's abduction of the Inca king Atahualpa came in 1529. His men detained the king, coerced the Incas into paying a large ransom in gold and silver, and then intentionally killed the king anyway. Their conquest of Peru established the legendary Spanish main. Spanish holdings on the mainland of Central and South America. The predicament of Spain's kings was how to get the riches of the New World to Spain. Pirates and privateers ruled the waves. To disturb what was actually just a robbery, the King of England issued letters of mark, licenses that turned certain pirates into agents of the British government. Their piracy against the Spanish ships and Spanish gold was considered service to the King of or Queen of England. Most pirates with such letters were social deviants anyway, and predictably, they became embarrassments to the British crown. In 1603, Britain's King James I cancelled all his government's letters of mark. The many dangerous unemployed pirates became buccaneers, a terrifying mix of tough characters that operated from the island of Hispaniola. They conducted a merciless raid on Spanish settlement and formed a brotherhood known for theft, torture, smuggling, and villainy of all sorts. An introductory sentence for a brief summary of the passage is provided uh, below. Complete the summary by selecting the three answer choices that express the most important ideas in the passage. In its blank, write the letter of one of your choices. The establishment of Spanish Maine provided rich targets for pirates and uh, privateers, often with government encouragement. So there are six examples. A. Pizarro's men abducted King Atahualpa in 1529. Uh, it is correct. Uh, but it's not that important. So let's skip this. And B, by issuing letters of mark, the kings of England gave their approval of raids on Spanish ships. Yeah, this is correct. And then pri uh, piracy in South China Sea was also a problem at this time. 
So South China Sea is not mentioned. So C is not uh, answer. And D, pirates who worked for the English crown were known as buccaneers? No. Uh, buccaneers is, uh, is the, those who are not recognized by the king uh, of England. And E, sailing under a letter of mark, a, a privateer could steal property in the king's name. So this is correct. And the last one, eventually, the English crown was embarrassed by the behavior of its uh, privateers and canceled the letters of mark. So this is correct too. So correct answers will be B, E, and F. Okay, friends, this is the conclusion of today's study. I'll come back to you with another 10 words as soon as possible. Until then, keep studying English and have a great day. Bye.